All right, guys, so the next panel we have is the Tone Curve panel, which is a graphical way, basically, of adjusting the overall tonal detail in the image. So we can kind of adjust the overall contrast, the exposure, the shadows, and everything from this Tone Curve graph. Now, what you see here on this graph is basically uh, the levels of luminosity starting from the shadows on the left, moving all the way to the midtones in the middle, and then all the way up to the most extreme highlights on the very right side. Now how do you adjust the tone curve? Well basically you start by adjusting regions of your, your tone curve. So we have four different regions. One is the highlights, which is this stuff from 75 to 100 over here on the right side. We have the lights, which is basically the higher end of the midtones between 50 and 75. We have the darks, which are uh, the lower end of the midtones between 25 and 50. And then we have the shadows, which is the low side between 0 and 25. Now if I want to make adjustments to this, all I need to do is pull the sliders up or down. So let's say in looking at my image, I see that my highlights could be a little bit brighter. So I want to pull my highlights up a little bit. So I'm going to increase the highlights, say up to maybe plus 50. And then the, the upper end of the midtones, maybe I want to pull down to kind of make it a little bit more dramatic and just show a little bit more blue in the sky. So I want to keep the clouds white because those are highlights, and then I want to pull down the midtones to see more blue. On the darker side of my midtones, I'm going to increase it so I actually have a little bit more detail on that darker side of the midtones. But then on my shadows, I actually want to make it uh, really kind of contrasty and make the shadows kind of really dark. So I'm going to lower the shadows. And right there from this tone curve adjustment, so we see I've adjusted my overall exposure and contrast without even touching any of the basic, uh, the basic sliders up here. So all my basic sliders are still all at default. Exposure, black, contrast are all at default yet my overall tone curve has changed and the overall image exposure and contrast has changed to follow this tone curve. Now another adjustment I want to show you guys is these sliders right here at the bottom of our graph. Now these sliders are set to 25, 50, and 75 by default which identifies the different regions of, of these ranges. So basically the range for our highlights right now is from 75 to 100, but if I pull this down it's going to increase that highlight range, which means whatever adjustments that I make in this highlight range is going to have a larger effect over now the midtone area because I've, I've had it bleed into the midtone area. As I pull it up the other way, it's going to have a lighter effect on the midtone area and only affect the most bright areas of the image. So we can kind of make micro adjustments to basically how these region adjustments are affecting the overall tone curve by adjusting these sliders, these region sliders. Now I'm going to reset this tone curve by holding Alt and clicking this Reset Region and it takes me back to our default view. And if you look down here it shows the point curve as being medium contrast. This probably is most likely the default tone curve that you're going to see that comes selected. It's basically if you pull down this menu there's three different uh, kind of standard tone curves. One is the linear, linear tone curve which has basically no contrast. It's just going to be a very default, uh, very standard view. The next is this default view of medium contrast where it kind of deepens the shadows a tiny bit, affects the midtones and highlights a tiny bit, just to give it a little bit more poppiness. And one is the strong contrast, which is another uh, preset that's going to make the image even more poppy. So if we reset it, it's going to default back to medium contrast. Now there's a couple other ways of adjusting the tone curve. We can do it by using the graph, by just clicking anywhere on the graph on a point in whatever region we want. So if I want to increase the brightness of my, of my highlights, all i got to do is click on that region and pull up on that line, and it's going to pull up all my highlights. If I want to pull down the kind of highlight side of my midtones, I'm just going to click there and I'm going to bring it down. And so all I'm doing is basically adjusting my, my tone curve by adding points on the line and adjusting those points just how we would in a tone curve in Photoshop. Okay, now yet another way of adjusting our tone curve, and let me reset that so we can get back to where we were before. Another way of adjusting our tone curve, if we're not familiar with, like, say, knowing, okay, what exactly are our highlights in this image, or what exactly are the shadows in this image, I can adjust it visually. And so basically I can say, well, I want to deepen the shadows. So I don't necessarily know exactly what area on this line is my shadowy area, say, for this, for this grill right here. But I can select this little point tool, which basically allows me to adjust visually by clicking in my image. So let's say if I want to brighten my highlights, I'm going to pick a very bright highlighty area, like say this little highlight on the windshield wiper or on the mirror right here. I'm going to click and pull it up. So I'm just going to click and hold, hold the mouse button down while I drag up. And you can see on my tone curve how it's increasing the highlights in those, that area. And you can also see in the tone curve what area I'm affecting. So as I bring it over the blues, it shows me that 
I'm in the highlight area of my midtones. If I bring it over the white of the clouds, I'm in the pure highlight area. And if I bring over this mirror, I'm in the really, really high uh, highlight area. And if I go over like the, uh, you know, if I go over like this deep dark area of the hood, I can see I'm in my darkest shadows. So if I want to pull down my shadows even more, I just click right here on my hood. I can drag my shadows down a little bit more. If I want to level out my midtones, I'm going to click right here on the hood and kind of maybe, actually I'll probably bring down my midtones again so I see more blue in the sky. And then adjust up these uh, darks a little bit so I see a little bit more detail in the kind of shadowy side of my midtones. So again, by using this direct adjustment tool, we can make adjustments to our tone curve just by clicking and doing it visually on the image itself. All right, guys, let's move to the next tutorial.